Forget Doomfist, ladies and gentlemen. Is this guy the next Overwatch hero? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stalosa, and welcome to the channel. So we've had a post on the forums from Jeff, old daddy Jeff, and this is what he says. 24 is not who you think it is. Now, what that means is the 24th hero is not who you think it is, and he's posted that in a public forum full well knowing what this is going to do. So this is probably confirmation that the next hero isn't Doomfist. Well... Well, hang on a minute. We have had loads and loads and loads of hints as to the next hero being not... Well, they haven't categorically said it's Doomfist, right? But we know something's going on on Numbani. We know something is going on with the Doomfist container. We know there is the massive Doomfist exhibit going on in Numbani. Doomfist, Doomfist, Doomfist. We know we want another tank in the game. Doomfist. He sounds like a tank, right? Surely somebody... Some sort of tankish character, right? So all of this stuff... I mean, I have condensed that down quite a bit. There are tons of videos on this channel and all over the place that do cover loads of Doomfist stuff. But there was very, not solid evidence, but it was pointing in the direction that Doomfist or something very close to Doomfist is going to happen with the next major update to Overwatch. Now, there is another post and this post is quite interesting because this is what he says about teasing new heroes and this is in relation to the Sombra ARG. We have new heroes coming. I don't think people will care less about balance though. That is in reference to this thread. They're actually talking about balance issues and people only care about new heroes, etc, etc. The reason why we don't talk, and this is the, the, the key thing, the reason why we don't talk about new hero development more is we took the community feedback regarding the Sombra ARG to heart. Now, there was a lot of community feedback with the Sombra ARG. I think the ARG itself was fun, the way it was done. The problem with it is it endlessly took us to another countdown. It was, oh yes, you've, you've completed all this work, have a countdown. Oh yes, you've completed all this work, have a countdown. And those periods of countdown were not great. The, the whole premise of the ARG was a great thing because it was this thing to drum up a ton of interest on the game and it absolutely did. Sombra, everyone was going crazy for it. I mean, I was lucky enough to live stream Sombra w world first. It, it even sounds amazing to me when I say this. World first gameplay footage direct from BlizzCon of Sombra. It was that insane. It was completely ridiculous. So there were some negative aspects to that, like I said. When all the community got together, and the community is vast, and when the very clever people in the community worked out the various stages to the ARG, uh, something which maybe Blizzard suspected would take maybe a week to solve would literally take two hours. And then we were faced with, well, what do we do next? Oh, there's a countdown. Something will happen in seven days' time. Something will happen next month, which I think was the craziest one. And all of that, which was not great, right? So I think their hearts were in the right place, but it wasn't great. So what is going on? Like, they don't want to tell us about new heroes, but there is a new hero coming, or is there? Well, actually, there is, because I've got another post on the forum, and it reads as such. Great question. The emotes themselves don't take months. It's more on the order of days to weeks. It's more about, it's more a prioritization of issue. We have multiple new heroes being worked on right now, plus numerous events and event related content. We're always asking ourselves what would make the biggest impact for the most people when we prioritize. Right now, we feel like introducing a new hero to the lineup would be more impactful to the game. I hope that makes sense. So what we've got from these three posts is, we're not going to, we haven't teased the new hero, but they kind of have in a way. Um, there is going to be a new hero and it's not who you think it is. So who the hell could this be? Now, I put a post out on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, which is at Unilost Gaming, and I was like, it's this guy. It's the guy who I put on the front of the video at the start of this uh, uh, this video. This dude. I don't know who this dude is, but um, I get a lot of interesting emails sent to me, and one of them were claiming that, that this guy was actually the next hero. They had no evidence. It was like, oh, I think you'll find this guy's the next hero, and it's not Doomfist. Now, this was sent to me a while ago. Um, if that turns out to be true, that'll be pretty funny, I think. Um, I don't know who this guy is. He's an original member of Overwatch. Um, beyond that, I don't know. His name could be Bob. He could fire lightning out of his ass. I don't know what he does. Nobody knows who he is. Nobody actually knows who the other heroes are. So this got me thinking. It's like, well, who the hell is that? Like, okay, okay, let's 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 bring this back. Who could we get, right? Athena, possibly, right? Athena, I think, is a god program. That is a friendly god program to hero uh, to, to humans. God programs are rogue AI, effectively, that can control Omni. Think of Skynet from Terminator 2, because Blizzard have totally ripped that off here. Anyway, there's various versions of Skynet and they're all over the place. Um, Temple of Anubis, that map, there is actually a god program in quarantine. That's what Farah is protecting with Helix Security. They are protecting the, the sort of data vault where that 
horrible god program is hidden. But I think Athena actually is a god program. Um, she's just the one which helps humans. So maybe there'll be some sort of physical construct, like a, a rom, uh, like a romnic. That's like a, a robotic omnic, which is stupid because an omnic kind of is a robot. Although I think they'd probably find that offensive if we called them an, a, a robot to the face. Maybe we get that though. That could potentially be one. Uh, there's also Soundquake as well. Soundquake. All we know of Soundquake is he was mentioned in the very first cinematic for the game, where the little punch kid goes, oh, Soundquake, and that's about it. We don't know what he does, we don't know what he could be. I think it's going to be a tank character next, because we do need a tank. If you look at the way Overwatch is played, we've got a lot of variety in a lot of different slots, and we do have variety in the tank slot. The thing is, there's only one tank like Mr. Reinhardt, and there's only one tank which you would always take to push through a choke point, and that is Reinhardt. And there is a massive debate about the, the whole, like, Reinhardt mandatory pick situation, which is an issue. So it must be a tank. Like, I'm trying to put logic together here, because we've been thrown a massive curveball. If it isn't Doomfist, which clearly it isn't based off these posts, then who could it be like they're just going to throw a hero like out of nowhere like oh it's this guy deal with it it's going to have to be one hell of a cinematic i think to introduce this new hero and i don't think we're going to have to wait very long to sort of um be given this i mean i i think um it could uh, next tuesday's wishful thinking maybe the tuesday after that possibly we might get some information on who the new hero could possibly be. But we do know a new hero is coming and everything is building up to this. But we just don't know who it is. It's really weird to me and kind of frustrating because I want to play Doomfist. Although I was fairly sure Doomfist wasn't going to be voiced by Terry Crews because of the like the little voice uh, actor. Um, what the hell is it? like? I, what did I call it last time? I got I got completely audition. That's what it was. Uh, by by his voice actor audition thing, which kind of confirmed that no, he's not Doomfist. And also, Doomfist I think is supposed to be African, not African American. But I think Terry Crews can still do a fairly decent African accent, so I don't know. But yeah, if it's not Doomfist, who the hell do you think it's going to be, guys? Go crazy in the comments below. This is well, it's mad and it's come out of nowhere. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this Overwatch news. I've been Stylosa, and this is Unit Lost. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I'm ill, so I'm going back to bed. Goodbye.